good afternoon students in this session we are going to learn an application hospital management system in django that is how to develop the hospital management system using models.py and as well as the database connection in django so what are the requirements so we need to know what are the hospital details whether the doctor is available for that particular disease or particular in that hospital or not or inpatient and outpatient details and number of beds etc so on so for this we are going to modify the files models.py file admin.py views.py urls.py and static templates concept we are going to use and along with settings.py so as i said earlier models.py is used to create the database tables and we are after creation of models we are going to register the model in admin.py and after admin.py we are going to represent it in views.py and render it to an html page since it is an hospital management system i have imported some images hence i have used the concept of images that is static templates concept in this program right i quickly open my visual code so in my visual studio code first i am going to open models.py file so in models.py file i am going to create a class with a name called hospital details which is the database table name so in hospital details table i am going to add certain fields let me say my first field is patient number patient name patient blood group patient address patient phone number type of the disease of the patient patient status whether he is in in or out and whether the doctors are alerted for the particular patient or not and finally the number of beds available in the hospital for that particular disease and finally i am going to use the string class constructor so that to retrieve the data from the database so i am going to return the patient data with one particular number this is models.py file and my model name is hospital details now in admin.py file i am going to import that model so from my app that models import hospital details and i am going to register my model so let me say my uh, name is uh, employee admin that is my model name is employee admin in admin.py so in this i am going to add a list which consists of the fields that i have taken in models.py file that is patient number name blood group address phone number status doctors allotted beds available etc and finally i am going to register my model name that is hospital details along with the admin model name that is employee admin now in views.py file i am going to create a method with a name called hospital data which consists of the patients list so all this list is passed to an dictionary and this dictionary values are rendered to an html page here my html page is hospital.html URL.py file is same. I am going to represent my view name here. So views.hospital data name is equal to hospital data. In settings.py file, I am going to create a database that is MySQL with a name called hospital. That is my database name backend name is hospital. So in the hospital, I am going to create the table with the model that I have specified in models.py file. And demo.css file is as it is. I am going to add certain style sheet for the image and as well as color of the text also. And Finally, in hospital.html file, I am going to use the template tag that is load static in order to import the values of the CSS and as well as images also. And I am going to link the style sheet with the help of href attribute that is static CSS demo.css. And in the body tag, I am going to mention the two statements that is welcome to the hospital name and along with some hospital context. And here I am going to mention the what are the types of the services that are available in the hospital and I am going to upload the image of one particular hospital. And finally, I am going to print the data of inpatient and outpatient details in the hospital. So in this, I am going to create an if loop which consists of a center tag along with the table which includes the details that I have retrieved from the backend. So I have used the patient number, name, blood group as I mentioned earlier, etc. And if the values are present in the database, I am going to use the for loop to navigate to the each values. So this is integrating variables concept. Hence, we are going to retrieve the values in the database using the for loop. So patient dot patient number, patient name, patient blood group and patient address, patient phone number, particular disease, status, doctors available and beds available, etc. If the data is not present, no records are found, message is going to be displayed. And for adding the images, as I said earlier, I have created a folder with a name called images in static folder. In images, I am going to add my images. So from this, I am going to navigate to my image. That is, I am going to mention the relative path address for my particular image. Now, I am going to open my command prompt. Now, in my command prompt, I am going to connect it with my database so i am going to navigate to my folder so let me say cd space my project name is model project 
I am going to run the command that is python space manage.py space migrate. So let me check the migrations. Yes, the migrations was applied successfully and I am going to add this python space manage.py space make migrations as I already migrated. So it has displayed as no changes will be detected. And finally, I am going to run the code python space manage.py space run server. Now I am going to open my web page. So in my web page here, you can clearly see that welcome to Kartikeya hospitals. So one of the tagline that is service first and money next. And I am going to add certain data in the hospital's website also. So here, this is the hospital image. And in this, I am going to add my inpatient and outpatient details. And here you can clearly see that patient name, patient blood group, patient address, patient phone number, disease, patient status, and doctor's allotted and number of beds available for that particular disease is displayed clearly. Now we navigate to the PHP my admin page. So here this is my PHP my admin page and in that hospital is my database name. In the hospital database name, I am going to navigate to my table that is hospital details. So in the hospital details, the values are already inserted. Now I am going to add insert another value. So let me say my patient uh, number is, let me check here, six already given. So we are going to use the seven. Let me take the patient name is uh, maybe Sanjay Sahu and the patient blood group is B negative and the patient address is let me say Kolkata. And the patient phone number let me add some of the any dummy number and patient disease is let me say it is heart attack. Since this is a major digit I am going to allow three or four doctors hence in the doctor selected I am going to type a message called yes and four doctors are allotted. So number of beds available also I'm going to mention as three and I'm going to select option go. Now the values is inserted. Now I'm going to come to my page and I'm going to refresh so that the data is added. So I'm going to refresh this one and here you can clearly see that Sanjay Sahu B leg to Kolkata and heart attack. Yes, four doctors are allotted and number of beds available are three. Let me add another data also so that the number of beds are not available. Let me make my patient number is, let me add the number as eight. So patient number is eight. Let me say Rahul, his name, and I'm so, and also add the blood group as O positive. So let me add the address as some of the city and I'm going to add any dummy number and I'm going to mention it as COVID positive. And here I'm going to mention the patient status as S and doctors alerted or no, since there are no doctors are available in that particular hospital and number of beds available is also zero and no doctors are available at level in the hospital. Let me say. So I'm going to select it as go and I'm going to refresh once again. No inserted data truncated. So let me add the details. So let me check whether the data is inserted or not. And here, oh, positive, Ubuntu. yes, yes. I'm going to refresh this one. And here you can clearly see that the data is added and no doctors are available. A number of beds are available zero for that particular disease that is COVID positive. So in this way, we can develop an hospital management system in Django. Thank you.